All right, so let's do a quick review on what we changed. First, there are these options that we're passing to the package.json or the manifest file for our development environment for NW. And we also added the ability to drag the window from the title bar here. And the close window method that we are calling to, well, get rid of that window whenever we want. All right, so let's commit these changes then. Okay, so. Let's change branches now. First, let me introduce you to ping monitor. This is the MPM package that we will use to ping our remotes. And here's the documentation. It provides some events that we can subscribe to and so we can know whether our remote is up or not. Okay, so let's first install the module. And once it's installed, we can require it and we'll do a quick example here of how it works on the app component itself and later on we'll move on to the actual implementation of the module so over here let's go ahead and require it and then let's use the created lifecycle hook for this component. In here, we'll create a new monitor with some options inside. Then we need to subscribe to that. And we can do so with the callback here. Let's try that and see what happens. The problem is ping monitor is relying upon FS, which is a library for node, that Webpack can't resolve to serve it to our environment. And so we need to do here a little modification to the Webpack config.js file. And let me show you where it is on the folder structure. It's right here under the root folder of our application. Okay, so now we want to modify it, like I said, a little bit and append another key here, which is called externals. And in here we will add the configurations for the native uh, libraries for Node that we will use and one of those is the one that threw us an error and the other one is path and same thing okay
So let's try again. And here it is. Let's open up the console now. And you'll see a log where the monitor was created. So one thing to keep in mind is I think that the interval is actually every five minutes. What we could do is change that to be the calculation over here. And this way we can actually see the output. Okay, so now it's pinging, and I realize I set the wrong URL here. What I should be doing is health, because that's the endpoint I want to hit. So I saved, and we'll try once more. Great. Now you see we're getting the output of what happens when we get to the up event on the monitor. You'll also notice that we're still getting the console errors for the other monitor that we had and we'll figure out how to fix these things when we actually implement the monitor. But so far we're doing well.